here are 10 things you probably didn't know about the beautiful songbird blue jay. Number 10. Did you know? On January 1st, 2015, LEGO Ideas released a bird set which includes a blue jay. The two other birds are the hummingbird and European robin. The birds actually look pretty awesome. The idea for LEGO birds came from Thomas Polsom from Bristol, England. While in his garden one day, he started to think about what he could build with LEGO bricks. At the very moment that he did, a robin landed on the handle of his spade. Thomas said that it was a true eureka moment for him and he knew what it was he wanted to build. So he got to work building various bird species. Bradley the Blue Jay was bird number seven in his North American series. Number nine. In 2016, a Blue Jay that was found dead after being caught in fishing gear in St. Pierre and Miquelon off the coast of Newfoundland turned out to be a Jay that was banded there on October 19th, 1989 making it to be, at the very least, 27 years old. It is the oldest known wild bandit blue jay to date. Number 8. They aren't technically blue. Actually, they are brownish or gray in color. The beautiful blue that we perceive is due to the microscopic structure of its feathers and the way they reflect blue and violet light. This is known as structural coloration and is how other blue-hued birds get their color. If you were to hold a blue jay feather up to the sky so it is backlit, sunlight shining through the feathers rather than reflecting off of it, the feather would appear brownish gray with no trace of blue. Number 7. In episode 9 of season 5 in the Big Bang Theory TV series, one of the main characters, Sheldon, has a fear of birds. In one scene, a bird lands on his windowsill to which Sheldon identifies it as a blue jay. However, it isn't actually a blue jay, but a black-throated magpie, a Mexican species that is sometimes kept in captivity. Due to most North American birds being protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, they are not allowed to be in captivity unless there is a permit, so they use the next best thing, in this case a Mexican species that is allowed to be kept in captivity and used for film. Number 6. In 2015, the team of Canadian Geographic founded the National Bird Project with the aim of declaring an official bird for Canada by 2017, the 150th anniversary of Confederation. The Blue Jay made it to number 7 in the top 10. Number 5. The Toronto Blue Jays Major League Baseball team, as well as some of their minor league affiliates, have adopted the Blue Jay as their team symbol. Their current mascot is Ace the Blue Jay, but over the years they've created three full-time mascots, all of which portray the bird for which the team was named for. The name Blue Jays came about when the team in 1976 held a Name the Team contest, which involved more than 4,000 suggestions. Blue Jays was chosen by majority owner Labatt Breweries, an apparent tie-in with its feature brand Labatt Blue. Number 4. In September 2010, an animated show called The Regular Show first aired on Cartoon Network. The main character is an anthropomorphic raccoon named Rigby and a blue jay named Mordecai. The character of Mordecai embodies Quintal, the creator of the show, during his college years. Quintal said that's the time when you're hanging out with your friends and getting into stupid situations, but you're also taking it seriously enough. In an interview with MTV, Quintal was asked, so why a blue jay and a raccoon? Quintal responded, because they are the coolest animals, the obvious choice. I always liked raccoons and blue jays were pretty cool growing up. I thought raccoons were cool because they have man hands and they're always getting into trash and doing funny things. Blue jays, it just seemed like a cool animal. Number 3. Famous painter Bob Ross and host of The Joys of Painting was a huge animal lover. Over the course of his life, he rescued various species of animals, including birds. In fact, Ross's love of birds was second only to squirrels. Many of the rescue animals made guest appearances on the show, such as Mr. J, a baby blue jay he was caring for at the time. Mr. J appeared in the opening of the last episode of season 13, and due to people requesting to see Mr. J again, he showed him once more in episode 4 of season 14, where he had Mr. J beg to be fed when he put his finger in front of its bill. Number 2. 
The blue jay belongs to the crow family, or corvidae, a group of a hundred related species including ravens, rooks, jackdaws, crows, magpies, and jays. They are considered to be one of the smartest family of birds. Some species, such as the Caledonian crow, have been observed making and using tools in the wild. And although tool use has never been reported for wild blue jays, captive blue jays have apparently used strips of newspaper to rake in food pellets from outside their cages. The first jay to do it tore a strip of newspaper from the bottom of his cage, crumpled it with his feet and bill, and used the paper to rake the food pellets into reach. On other occasions, the same bird used a feather, a thistle, a piece of straw grass, a paper clip, and a plastic bag tie to reach food. Five other jays in the captive colony subsequently learned to use tools to reach food. They all learned from each other. Number one. The movie The Shack, released this year, shows a blue jay in one of its scenes. And did you know that the blue jay in the scene is actually a wild blue jays that I captured video of? I was lucky enough to be able to help them out with the film last year. The two birds that were used are Hermoso, the front view, and Blue, the back view. Both birds I have known very well since 2011, and they are of course completely free and wild birds as they should be. And here's a bonus one. In 2015, the Canadian Mint produced a half-ounce fine silver colored coin of the Blue Jay to go with its theme, Colorful Songbirds of Canada. 15,000 coins were produced. It is the third coin in the five coin series and was designed by award-winning artist Derek C. Wicks, twice named National Artist of the Year by Ducks Unlimited. The blue hue for which the Jay is famous for is recreated with selective color that enhances the coins in detailed graving. That's all for this episode. If you would like to learn more about Blue Jays, check out my other videos, Did You Know Birding Episode 1, The Odd Diet of Blue Jays, and Episode 5, The Complex Vocalizations of Blue Jays. Thanks for watching, and make sure to thumbs it up if you enjoyed. Happy birding!